Hi, I'm Dr. Samuel Su. I'm a fertility specialist at Melbourne IVF um, on Fertile Minds today, and today we'll be talking about endometriosis and, it, and its effect on IVF success. Endometriosis is a condition that is uh, in women, and there are little tumours uh, in the pelvis, generally speaking. Uh, it comes from the word endometrium, which is the lining of the womb on the inside. Um, and in the case where it's found outside the womb, it's called endometriosis. So endometriosis, main issues are that, that it can cause pain and it does affect fertility. Over the years, we've learned that uh, endometriosis can affect fertility in many ways. It started off by the way that it causes the tubes and ovaries to be stuck and hence damaged, uh, making it hard for the eggs to find its way into the womb. We then learned subsequently that it causes quite a lot of inflammation and anything inflamed in the pelvis creates an environment where the egg quality is poorer, uh, the implantation of the uh, subsequent developed embryo to be poorer, uh, and it causes some anatomical damage as well. So initially we looked at endometriosis research and uh, it was hard to sort of decide whether it did or it didn't, and eventually we did get to uh, the research where we said endometriosis did affect fertility. Then following on from that as well as whether how we would treat endometriosis, whether you know, the medical treatments or surgical treatments were best for patients. We learned quite early on that in, in high quality surgery we could get uh, patients' pain significantly better. And we then observed that in some of these patients they fell pregnant a bit more easily. And a breakthrough study probably about 20 years ago found that when we removed mild and endometriosis uh, in patients with infertility, they were more likely to fall pregnant thereafter. We then went on to look at uh, well, when patients had endometriosis or didn't, and we blinded the scientists as to whether they could tell the egg quality uh, apart, and indeed the egg quality was worse in patients with known untreated endometriosis. I suppose the uh, the crux of the matter now is whether treatment of endometriosis would improve IVF outcomes with high quality surgery that we should see a significant improvement in outcome whether it's to do with general fertility or with IVF and the feeling is that it does improve uh, equality and it would improve implantation of the embryo so uh, in conclusion uh, my feeling is that uh, the treatment of endometriosis uh, in the right hands in high quality surgery should improve IVF outcomes. It's important to note that endometriosis and its effect on, on women and infertility, which is what we're talking about today, uh, is ever evolving and there is so much research going around the world in regards to endometriosis. Um, that we should see uh, more outcomes that are known in the next few years. But my feeling about the whole situation is that uh, we need to maximise the outcome of surgery and minimise uh, the complications and minimise the effect to the patient. And I think if you wanted more information, I would firstly speak to your fertility specialist about your situation because it would be unique and there could be multiple other factors that's affecting your fertility that needs to be considered uh, first or with endometriosis. Um, and if you want to know more, um, please uh, watch us here at Fertile Minds and uh, please subscribe.